Thanks. All right, me. let's start off with the big picture right now in terms of, I think, what, 23 million people, at least last count, had taken a uh, cruise. In... This year it's expected to be 23 million people will actually cruise. 23 million people. Yes. That's so, an, uh, what kind of growth are we talking about? Well, the, the average industry? for the industry over the, over the last decade has been about 7%. And so it continues to grow. 22 ships coming out this year. It's a very, very exciting time for the cruise industry. Tell us how Expedia Cruise Ship Centers figures into this, because you're a franchise business. You've got about uh, 190 yeah. independent travel uh, agent operators in yeah. the system. What do they get for being part of the Expedia? Yeah, you're, you're right. We're, an Expedia, we're a retail travel agency franchise, 190 locations. We're going to add about 40 this year. And what they get is two things, really the brand of Expedia being part of one of the number one uh, travel companies in, in the world, as well as uh, the supply as well for all of our non-cruise product. It's, it's absolutely amazing for now the our franchise. But the, really, the supply is yeah. key because you've got to have the scale in order to be able to offer the competitive rates to get people on the cruise ships. Absolutely. So on the cruise side, we have a very strong product department. But as you think about all the other things that people need when they travel, like the hotels, the flights, Expedia is an amazing partner to our organization. Give us the idea of who would be an ideal franchisee for uh, sure. Expedia. Yeah, for Expedia Cruise Spinners, we get a range from stay-at-home moms, retired police owners from New York City, for example, corporate executives that want to do something new. We're really looking for people that want an independent business, but also want to have, leverage a system that's been proven to help them with their technology, marketing, and, and those kinds of things. So is it expensive? Is it expensive to get started? No, not really. It's about an eighty to one hundred fifty thousand dollar investment, and that based on the market area they're in, as well as the size of the retail store that they do. So uh, it, it appeals to a large audience, and we have. Uh, more interest today in franchising than we've ever had in the history of the organization. Now, the cruise industry is controlled by two or three very large players, whether it's Carnival, sure. Royal Caribbean. Uh, is there a uh, change that you've seen in terms of being able to offer the product to the customer as a result no, of that? they still like Expedia. They run very independently, and so, so we haven't really seen that consolidation in the industry affect our business in a negative way. But those lines do run very, very independently. All right. I want to get to know you a little bit sure. more, give people a little bit of insight into you. So we have our Get to Know segment. What's your favorite destination for vacation? Well, favorite destination, I probably have three. British Virgin Islands because of the beaches, Europe because of the history, and Southeast Asia just from the sheer diversity. So we've been to all of those places. It's amazing. And all on Expedia, I bet. Absolutely. Um, yeah. uh, and your favorite book when you go on vacation, maybe? Uh, favorite book, I like business books. Uh, Jim Collins, Good to Great. Uh, I love the continuous improvement. And so it's, it's really helped us as a franchise organization. To, to listen to our, our field and improve ourselves. 